Find the perimeter on the shape. We have to walk all the way around the outside. So what we say is Peter Perimeter, with his giant foot, walks around the outside of the shape and gathers all the numbers together as he goes. Now you can see from this shape that some of the sides are missing, so we have to work out what's missing. First of all, I know that this is 10. It says it there, and it's going to be in metres. It's 10, so whatever's facing it, this, plus this here, is also going to make 10. Obviously, it's opposite. We know that this bit is 4 because it's just been pushed back there. So if we put that down, that would be 4. This side then, 4 plus what makes 10? It's 6, so that's a 6. Now, this long side here is 12. We know that this plus this is also going to make 12 because it's opposite it. Now, we've been given this bit, but it's been pushed back. So if I brought this in, that would be 5. 5 add what makes 12? Well, the answer is 7. I'll just take that off. So now I've got the perimeter and we've got a cheeky trick. So yes, at school they'll tell you Peter perimeter walks around, you would do 4, add 7, add 6, add 5, add 10, add 12. But as I've just shown you, 12 is, has always got 12 facing it. So we can do 12, add 12, which is 24, and that's for that side plus its opposites added together. And this side is 10. And it's opposite, 6 plus 4, will always equal the same as that. So they equal 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. We can do 20 plus 24, which is 48.